what's up what's good what's going on Sagittarius so I want to jump in really quick and take a look and get a past present future see where Sagittarius has been like where you have been where you are now and where this is all leading you towards okay and then we'll break this down and try to get some clarity and then we'll pull some angel messages this is going to be for your Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as your ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for your ninth house. But even with that being said, fam, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else, okay? Um, so where you have been is like there's been like a stagnant energy. It's like... It's like, it's not necessarily that you've been happy there, but I do feel like you've been content. And because you finally found a place of content, you where you have been is that you stopped moving. Where is Sag currently at, sir? Consciousness. Becoming conscious of where it is that you're trying to head. Yes, sweetness. So you're becoming more conscious of your approach to things. And where is all of this leading, Sag? Peace. Ha! Huh, love it. Peace and cleanse. Beautiful energy. Clarify happiness. Stop. Yeah, seven of swords. I mean, seven of cups. An illusion in the past where you had been. You had been in a You had been in an illusion. A false sense of there was an illusion. There was confusion. There was something that you were seeing through rose-colored glasses. Okay. Yes, ace of swords. I definitely feel like that where you have been is living in an illusion. But I do feel like that some truth and clarity is coming in on that illusion. What was, what was this illusion? What is the Seven of Cups? That it, Spirit is saying, baby. It's the, it's the Nine of Wands. Um, that, you know, that something was going to, like this even says Seer of Earth. And I feel like that this is saying that, like your illusion was that um, something would, figure it like that you would be able to give something and that you had what it take you had the wherewithal to go another round and inside of a situation without it becoming burdensome you were in, you were disillusioned to the fact that going another round really would be spreading yourself thin you thought that going another round putting in the work in this situation would stabilize this Where you are now, we do have consciousness. I do feel like that you're becoming aware. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Let me see. What is consciousness here for where Sagittarius is currently at? Why is consciousness here? Let's look at consciousness. Why is consciousness here? So we do have the king of pentacles. I feel like that you're becoming more aware of where it is that you're headed. Like you're becoming more disciplined, um, more secure, more protective of your peace, more protective of what you allow in your space because you're just becoming more conscious of what it is that you're trying to create for yourself. The three of wands. Yeah, I feel like that you're becoming more conscious and disciplined um and understanding i don't know i just feel like that there was a a lack of disciplined appro an approach that lacked discipline when seeking out your stability okay so i definitely feel like that your um your foresight is maturing 
that's like that's just period your foresight is going through an elevation it is maturing here in this present moment yeah and i do feel like that it has a lot to do with what it is that you're trying to manifest in in love the king of pentacles to the ace of cups this is telling me that you're becoming more conscious of what it is that you're seeking in a long-term foundation and a long-term partner okay yeah look three of wands is in the the eight of pentacles is right back at the bottom of the deck and the ace of swords and the two of cups absolutely i definitely feel like that you're becoming more clear on what it is that you're looking for in your romantic love interest and you're becoming more disciplined in the way in your vetting i'm going to call it your vetting and the way that you're vetting and the way that you're dating and what it is that you're doing you're maturing in that so let's just say okay so i'm just going to use myself for example me myself i'm really a chill type of girl i really like i don't need to be fine wine and dined I, I, that's nice but it's not necessarily a requirement for me that's my comfort zone so what this is saying is there's a more mature disciplined approach yeah that's my comfort zone but i know that when i like yeah that's what i like but i know that when i be like her let's just come hang out at the crib i'll cook something we'll watch tv that that energy tends to get dismissed and taken advantage of and that typically for your girl has led to sex-based relationships so it's like there's a more disciplined approach so cool i don't like fine wine but babe, i like to chill baby you have to meet me at the park baby you have to meet me at the you have to meet me like you know what i'm saying we have to find other alternatives more mature versions of your comfort zone so you got to get out of your comfort zone but there's a more mature version of it and i feel like that that's what you're becoming more conscious of in this present moment What's show me a little bit about this Ace of Cups for the present moment? Yeah, damn, damn, Aries. There's a divine. There is a divine masculine that's headed straight your way. Okay. Yes, judgment or judgment. Yeah, judgment. This person could be seeking forgiveness. This could also just you becoming because judgment is also about becoming decisive, making a this like a deciding moment. So this could be you coming to the realization, coming to that decisive awareness that I know what I'm going after in a divine masculine. And I know, like, you know what I'm saying? There could be something like that as well. But for a lot of you all, I feel like that this Ace of Cups is coming from a divine masculine. Show me into this. What is this emperor energy saying? Huh. The, the four of wands. There's definitely a relationship here on the brink, honey. And it will go the distance. It has it. You're becoming Sagittarius, where you are presently. You're becoming more aware of what you want your husband or or your wife to look like you're becoming more aware of what your stability what you want what you're trying to build and establish for yourself that's becoming more and more aware to you through this experience that you just went through when you were looking at a situation with rose colored glasses thinking that you had the wherewithal to stick around and hope for like you were content inside of something so you felt like that that's where it ended at Okay, so where Sag is headed, so like like where this is all leading you towards is peace, my, my, my. And I believe it because, honey, when you get the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Wands, baby, they have their eyes, like, there's no worry. This, this, the stability is taken care of. The stability is taken care of. There's no worries. What is this piece for where this is headed for Sagittarius? The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. 
the Empress coming to oneself, the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my God. Sagittarius. Speaking about it, and we're only 10 minutes and 7 uh, seconds in. Y'all, if y'all still rocking with your girl, smash that thumbs up button. It does help circulate the messages as well as it helps make these more personal for you. But Sagittarius, where this is headed is peace, 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 contentment, wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, emotional satisfaction. Um, it's a sense of like feeling validated, like feeling like you're like you're independent within this situation yet as yet whole like you don't have to lose yourself inside of this situation here in order to feel heard or feel included this is a situation that's going to hear you see you value you and most importantly you're going to see yourself this is a rising this is a bonus card in this deck and it's called a uh, cosmic consciousness and it's about you coming back to your cosmic self and look what they're going towards they're going towards the empress the nine of pentacles is pre-empress it's like you're elevating from pre-empress like you're this shit all by your fucking self but th where you're headed is somebody sees it and they know it And they want it. You don't get the emperor and the empress, the four of wands in a spread and not say that this and say that this isn't a divine counterpart. This is a divine counterpart situation here. Um, where like this past, present, future includes a divine counterpart. However, I do feel like that there is this energy, like in the present moment, there's like this crowning moment that needs to happen before this energy can awaken to the Empress or come into union with the Empress. So someone's got a crowning moment here in the present moment. transformation let love transform you forever i am not kidding you there is a transformative relationship that is going to let me just say this i don't know why i feel the need to say this but it almost makes me emotional like if you're an overthinker this person understands you even though it is going to be up to you to release yourself from this toxicity, this person understands you. So I do feel like that this is someone that is going to go about a way to settle to, they're going to offer an umbrella. Mm -hmm. Get yourself grounded and prepare for this because there is the potential that you could sabotage this. Because I don't really feel like that you fully have come into understanding your true worth. Hmm. What else do you have for the surges that have risen? Willpower. Absolutely willpower. Um, improve your willpower to reduce your stress level. You know, Sag, I was sitting here earlier today and I was meditating and I was just thinking, you know, um, there's a lot of expect, there's a lot of things that we do and we do them with an expectation. It's like, yeah, it's like, no, no, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing it because I want to. But when you were learning to do this and you were becoming accustomed to learning that these things make you happy. Um, there was an expectation that was attached to it. Like, let's just say like, Ooh, I can't wait to have a husband so I can cook. Um, I can send them off with breakfast in the morning, have dinner ready, you know, just those things. Right. Okay. So like, yeah, those are the things. And that's just something that you learn, especially if you're in a house with both mom and dad around. Right. So, um, then you get a boyfriend, right? And you start, okay, they start spending the night. You start cooking breakfast and you start, you coming over tonight, you start cooking dinner. 
you are doing that because you want to, but the subconscious desire for that is because you want, like, this, like, I can do, like, this is what I would do for my husband because this is what I've always wanted to do for my husband. You know what I'm saying? So you're doing that with the expectation that hopefully this situation elevates to that, right? Absolutely, and that's and, and that's understandable and that's respectful. However, you have to be willing like there's a there's a need to display some willpower and to discern which qualities you're meant to give out. Like you you gotta you gotta figure out what you're giving and what you're not giving inside of a situation here. Oh wow, this deck is closed out. With daydream. Um, there's nothing to worry about. Um, you will more easily hear and receive the angel messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving. Without directing your thoughts, just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Spirit, what messages can you give on this Empress Emperor energy that is showing up in this reading? soul searching needing to work on some personal issues first so the energy that spirit is wanting this empress emperor to know is that there, there is a crowning moment in the present moment before this can come together there are some there are there's some personal issues that need work before like there's a there's a need to pursue oneself before you pursue a counterpart um, I had a card that fell on. Damn. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. But what's down here first? Enchanted whispers. Listen to your heart and take a chance on love. I feel like that intuitively because this the, the angels are saying that if you daydream and you open up and not so much restrict your mind, that there are some thoughts that are coming through. I do feel like that there are some enchanted whispers that are saying that there's an opportunity here. But there are some things that's got to be worked out. But I feel like that because it's like you 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 don't want to believe the enchanted whispers because the things that are factualizing don't feel good. And it's almost like when you were in this energy when, where you have been this happiness stop. It's like you wasn't necessarily unhappy. You was content. But it's like you wasn't thriving for you wasn't trying to exceed for too much because you didn't like it was a long time to just finally get to this. I feel like that. So it's almost like in this present moment, you're not really holding a lot of faith on that enchanted whisper. And therefore, you're not really focusing on working on the personal issues. You're focusing on what you don't have. And um, I tell my children all the time, when we focus on what we don't have, trust and believe. We're not appreciating what we do have. And ten, nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, you're fucking up what you could have had. Because, baby, if I told you that if you go play with this toy, we're going to go to Monkey Joe's tomorrow. And you pout because we're not going to Monkey Joe's today. I bet we're not going to Monkey Joe's tomorrow. And I'm getting ready to take that toy away today. You know what I'm saying? So there's something like that here. So choose wisely how you respond. Consider long term, like there are long term issues that have to be considered before you commit to something. Yeah, embrace change. There's nothing to worry about. Everything in this situation appears to me to be unfolding unfolding naturally. Because if you can embrace this crowning moment that's taking place in the present, then it leads you to towards peace. Because you know your worth, and when you know your worth, then you then just just knowing your worth naturally demands others around you to to acknowledge. And, and give you your worth okay it says through challenges true connections can flourish i can't make this shit up embrace change 
graceful dance, uh, lift each other during both high and low times. So there's there's definitely this energy of you becoming more and more aware of what it is that you're seeking for in partnership through whatever it is that you're experiencing right now. But I do feel like that you're on the journey to your forever partner. I do want you to know that you are on the journey towards your forever partner here. Close this out with the numerology, please, Spirit. 33, 33, social skills. The problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put to use your captivating energy and inspira inspire inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. 13, 13, starting fresh. Step out of your comfort zone. You are about to create something meaningful. All your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. Build up your confidence. Wasn't that a card? Uh, well, if it wasn't, it came up in the pre-shuffle. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. And then we have 0808. So October, the, I mean, uh, damn, I don't know why I said October. August the 13th could be very significant. That was yesterday um, as I am recording this on the 14th. Um, technically, yeah, it's early morning, but yeah, on the 14th. Um, this is the timeless message though, guys. Um, there's also a message that I recorded on Monday. I forget the name of it, but it is a daily increase. 1333 was significant. That message could be very beneficial to be rewatched on today in order to help you process, um, 13 something um, and then we also have 0808 swift actions you you will enter a time of expansion so begin taking steps towards achieving your ultimate objective immediately finances will miraculously improve oh and somebody has their mind set on you I can't make this shit up personal power but you must be willing to claim your personal power okay I absolutely let me see if I can get a zodiac sign um, the major arcana is on the board it does appear just to be the emperor and the empress it is those are the only two majors um, so that is Libra Taurus and Aries alright what zodiac signs could this possibly involve for Sagittarius I'm looking at Gemini I'm looking at Leo I'm looking at Aquarius and I'm looking at Aries I hope that this offers you some guidance if this message does offer you some guidance and you would like a more personalized reading we do offer readings over on the Manjula awakening .com. Um, if you use the promo code breakthrough 31 all one word capital B capital T um, at checkout you do receive um, and you pay for a zoom session you receive a message from spirit for free if you you add both of those to your carts okay i hope that that offers you some guidance love you